Hi, this is Andy from Condi Systems, and today I'm going to show you how to install your Epson 7890 or Epson 9890 as a sublimation printer um, on a, and as a network printer on your Mac. Um, you're going to need two pieces of software. You'll need the ICC profile, which will be emailed to you from member support, um, and you'll need the Epson drivers. Now, if you don't have the ICC profile, just send us an email to support at condi.com requesting the profiles. Make sure to include your printer model number as well as the type of ink you're using. Um, the different types of ink have different profiles. Um, once you have the profile, we're going to put it in the proper place. We're going to click on the desktop and then hit go and go to folder. It's going to pop up this window. We want to go to, now this is a forward slash, same key as a question mark, and then library forward slash color sync forward slash profiles and hit go. This will open up to where the profiles are. Once you have this open, you simply want to copy the, the color profiles and then paste them into your desktop or into this folder. Since I already have them, I'm going to hit replace just to show you it does ask for your Mac password. Now this is the password that you log onto your Mac with. Um, want to type in your password and hit OK and it copies the file into the folder. And once you have that, the next step is to actually uh, install your inks in your printer and bring it to ready, and then assign an ICC profile, um, assign a IP address to your printer, um, and connect it to the network. Now, there's another video on Condi TV that will show you how to set your IP address on your printer if you have not done so already. Um, once you have that done, you can either use the driver disk that came with the printer, or you can download the driver from Epson. Uh, now I'll have a downloaded copy here. I'm going to run this, open this DMG, and I'm going to run this package file. And again, this is for the 7890 or the 9890. We'll hit continue, continue, and agree. And then we're going to make sure it's set to the hard drive. Select install. Again, it's going to ask you for your password. Type in your password and install software. Now the Copying the files over actually does take a minute or two. Um, you want to wait for this to continue. A good thing to do while we're waiting for this on your printer, um, make sure that your auto nozzle check is turned off. You simply go into the menu, go into printer setup, auto nozzle check, and set it to off. Another thing you're going to want to do is make sure your printer is set up for matte black mode. There's a, actually a button that looks like two ink drops on the front display of the printer. You click on that button and it'll ask if you want to set it to matte black mode. That'll be the next thing you do there. Once that's done and your installer is finished, we'll hit close, close the package. I'll open the finder, go to system preferences and scanners and I'm going to select the plus button at the bottom. Now <clears throat> this will show up all the different printers that it has available whether they be USB or IP setup or bonjour even. You'll notice we have the 7890 on the network. I can set up as an IP or as a bonjour. So I'm just going to select this printer. I am going to change the name of the printer. I'm going to call this E7890 Pro Photo because we have Profoto Inc. inside the printer. You can really name this whatever you want, whatever's most convenient for you. And I'm going to hit Add. I'm going to hit Configure. And the printer shows up on in your list of printers. Now from here, everything else has to be done in the application. So I'm going to open Photoshop Elements. You're going to want to open a, a, a document of some sort. Here I just have a blank document. We'll do File and Print. We want to select that printer in the list at the top. And then in Elements, we're going to go to More Options and Color Management. And we're going to make sure all these are set up properly. Photoshop Elements manages colors. Printer Profile is the profile that we just installed. And Rendering Intent is Perceptual. Now, if this were Photoshop, you would have these settings along the right-hand side of your window. And if this is Illustrator, 
you'll have a menu here where you can select color management and then set these options. Um, again, with Photoshop, the next step, you'll have a button that says print settings. Uh, and in Illustrator, you'll have a button at the bottom that either says printer, printer setup, or just setup. With elements, I'm just going to hit print here. And this will bring me to the, the same window you'll get in the other softwares. Now, normally, you're going to have a small compact window that looks like this. When this comes up, you're going to select Show Details, and we're going to select the, make sure we're on the printer at the top, and on Layout, we're going to change this to Printer Settings. Now with the Profoto inks, we want to set this to Matte Paper, Enhanced Matte Paper. We want to make sure the ink is set to Matte Black. We're going to set the Output Resolution to Super Photo, and I'm going to check Mirror Image. Now once we have these settings set, I'm going to cl click on the Presets pull down, Save Current Settings as Preset. I'm going to name this Condi ICC. Hit OK. Now at this point, whenever you print and you get to that screen, all you have to verify is that you're on the right printer and the right preset. And you would hit print and everything should come out fine. All right, if you have any questions about this or anything else we have at Condi, give me a call at 1-800-826-6332, option 2, or send us an email to support at condi.com. Thank you.